What is up? I'm Wanted Turtle, and today we have another Pokemon video, uh, PSA, Mail Day. But first, hope everyone had a good Thanksgiving, and if you did any shopping for Black Friday, hope that went well. Um, I myself did, haven't picked up anything yet as of filming. Uh, we have a couple of these Dark Ride boxes in the background from Walmart, which nothing crazy, but for 20 bucks, you can't go wrong. Uh, so let's start this video off with actually apologize if i cough in the background um but i did go to new york city uh like a week ago and did pick up a very cute plush i saw this i was like oh wow that's perfect uh to commemorate my our trip there and you got pikachu dressed like statue of liberty uh kind of nice play on like the cosplay stuff they did have like um a poncho charizard but honestly didn't look that great and i i thought this was really funny so picked this guy up and picked up a little statue uh, they did have some Funko Pop, like Evolutions, but they honestly weren't great. And I thought this one was cute uh, with Snorlax there. Uh, Shouts to um, uh, to Patron Ty. I thought he would appreciate this. Snorlax, I feel like his proportions are kind of strange, but still thought it was really cute. So, All right, let's go through some mail day stuff uh, or just some pickups. Um, all right, so every once in a while, just go to eBay and uh, search CGC. Uh, Pokemon CGC and when these cards are nothing special uh, but for a gem mint card that is um, you know something that I would like to have and it basically costs the same price as grading I feel like it can't go wrong we have the cleavor uh, this is like a promo nothing special but again you know hey cleavor is pretty cool Pokemon and I don't think this promo is probably worth like two bucks but you know from price of grading once again and then we got some any kind any type there's a full art supporter uh that i can pick up for price of grading we'll just snag them uh this is actually i don't have this card in psa it's like a band card because it's kind of like flipping flipping you off right there and uh so i was happy to add a graded version of this card to the collection hidden fates for like 10 bucks sure all day even if it's nine and now we have some actually cards i was happy to pick up we got pikachu from vivid voltage um there's a few cards uh, just there are a few cards that i feel like are artworks that are like kind of like cautionary tales where they just keep making the same card with different arts and keep uh kind of giving away his promos i feel like pikachu v max is one uh where i don't know how many different versions of it are and so like i feel like this card doesn't mean much anymore but i feel like it's a very iconic uh thing during vivid voltage we got a random gordy rainbow rare and the last one, another cautionary tale. Um, kind of like when it comes to modern sets, I don't think I'll be opening a whole lot of anything moving forward. Like even th once upon a time, like this was the chase card in Dark Does a Blaze and definitely a set that hasn't aged well where this chase card, how many different Charizard V Maxes are there? And this is like the one that people care the least about. Um, so while I do like the idea of them making like sought after promos, um, it does, you know, when they're always the same same card, it does make me a little cautious for upcoming sets. All right, something we did pick up is one of these Arcus V Star boxes. I don't think this is a great product uh, because the fact that the promos are nothing special. Uh, but I figured I should have one in the collection, and it, they did give me one of these GameStop promos. And you know, as far as like GameStop promos, it's not bad. I, I think the Dragon Art art is pretty good, uh, especially when the first one I got was like a Flapple or something. <laughs> it's like this is a big improvement from that. All right, so let's move on to some PSA slabs. So these are still bulk rate slabs. All these only cost ten dollars to grade, and I feel like this is a great example of now that ten dollar grading is no longer a thing for PSA, and I don't think it'll ever be. These are cards that this was the last opportunity to grade them for their grades. Actually, this one probably shouldn't have been graded out for. Uh, but anything base set, to be honest, like for $10, I don't mind having anything encased. Uh, I'll probably just create a bunch of, you know, hollow sets of various grades just to have and maybe for display purposes or something. And to be honest, for display purposes, I prefer lower grades. We do have a Zard, it came in at a six. I'm not even sure if this got marked up, like the grades are so low. But for 10 bucks, again, I'm fine with it. I think when it comes down to like, what's the going rate, 18? Or if you catch a special 15, none of these cards 
uh, should be great. It's seven, maybe, but um, I feel like moving forward for like base set that's not like first edition, it's like eight or higher, and it's worth the the attempt. So if you think you're gonna get eight or higher, anything else, I feel like you just pick on secondary market. It's probably better use of your time and money. Um, but for ten bucks, happy with it. And yeah, never gonna have enough base sets in the collection for myself. And so this first stack is going to be vintage stuff, and then we're going to move to modern. And we do have a couple eights in here, so I'm totally, perfectly happy with this. And, you know, if, oh, maybe this will get a nine, yeah, even at today's rate, it's probably worth sending in. But anytime there's a four, it's like, ooh, why did I even send this in? But now we're moving on to jungle. Don't see any first edition in here. Uh, maybe there might be a no symbol snuck in here. And I got, got these back a while back and um, actually have some more returns on route. Should be here in the next couple of days. So I still have a backlog to clear before, <laughs> before it makes sense to hit the new stuff. And there were some cards in there that I'm really excited to show off. And here's the last of like the vintage stuff. And then we'll move on to a different submission of some modern. And again, I think I feel like this is the, you know, this was the last opportunity to grade these cards and moving forward doesn't make sense to get these cards. And you'll see what I mean, even though a lot of these are tens. But uh, let's see, we're starting off with Snorlax. Uh, this is Sword and Shield base, but you know, regular V cards. Um, yeah, I, I'm just not, I'm not convinced there's any real reason to grade them unless it has like sentimental value. You're creating some kind of, you know, Snorlax Master Set or something like that. Uh, maybe this one is kind of a outlier. Um, Maybe this could be sold at, you know, a decent profit as a Zard 10, but I'm sure there's so many copies out there. Um, although Hidden Fates is another thing, which I'll take all the master sets <laughs> and, and I'm just happy to have them in the collection. This card, really hard to get a 10. I'm not sure how many nines I have. It's a good amount, but to be honest, I feel like there are very few that I had that were perfectly centered. So just a difficult card to grade. Um, then we got more of those tin cards. Oh no, this is an actual one from the sets. Same thing with Raichu, but you know, nothing, nothing special, but at least I got these at the bulk rate. Again, I think it was $10. So, all right, this is the Charizard from the set. Not bad and happy to get some tens. And we're gonna start picking up the pace. Uh, and here's like a perfect example, like, Oh, well, this card, it looks perfect, you know, but then there's always a chance to still get a nine and $10. That one's even a little iffy, but definitely not at today's rates. Um, once we get to baby shinies, maybe some of them, maybe any like Charmander as a starter. Uh, probably not Scyther though. All right, we got a few more stacks to go through. And yeah, we'll pick up the pace. I'm pretty sure we're here going to go through a solid, ah, this one's pretty good. Um, Hidden Fates, Zorua, uh, Zorua, only a nine, but yeah, just, I just grabbed a whole mess of Hidden Fates stuff, just my fave, definitely by far, still my favorite, uh, modern set, and I don't think anything, I doubt Crown Zenith is going to change that, um, it's just a, so fun, uh, and obviously, like, you know, so many slabs are getting returned at this point where I'm sure you could pick up all these cards for very cheap. Um, but yeah, having, I, I would definitely like to create just a bunch of, of Master Shinies, Shiny Vault sets. Um, and I think some of the trainers I still don't have. I'm not sure if Lady's one of them. But uh, Jesse and James, I have probably 50 of these. Just, just a perfect art. Um, maybe it won't ever be worth anything, but this is... Uh, a very nice card, very well, well made art. Rainbow Birds. The lighting's not great here. And now we're moving on to some real shinies. So these ones, definitely happy with as many tens as I can pick up. Again, to create those master sets. All right, I think we have at least one more stack of, might be primarily Hidden Fates. Then we'll start moving on to some other modern stuff. Uh, but yeah, nothing too crazy this video. Again, I feel like my biggest takeaway was this was the last reasonable opportunity to grade a lot of these. And moving forward, anything that's not a 10 that's modern, uh, you know, anything that's like not a secret rare, like this, for example, um, 
probably doesn't make sense to grade them anymore. This is a good example of that. Moving back to Darkness Ablaze, we got some Butterfree. Salamence. I do like this scissor art. I feel like, um, reminds me of like basketball or something, like scissor just dunked on top of someone. <laughs> and uh, I think we're going to be moving on to Out of Darkness Ablaze soon. And on to Champion's Path. Very strange set in the history of Pokemon. This one, I feel like the hollow pattern is slightly different. I don't think there's anything to... Uh, more like I just noticed it. I don't think it means anything. But Champion's Path, weird set at the... Maybe the peak of the, 20, like the 2020 hype era. Um, and just kind of rode that hype. Uh, because definitely not a great set. And I feel like the ETBs is a very interesting thing because it was just, you know, so sought after for no real good reason. Yeah, there was a couple Charizards, um, but definitely set hasn't aged well. But I think the ETB is holding at like $100, but I think purely on supply. <laughs> I'm not even sure. I'm sure there's so many out there that are just sealed. Um, but yeah, just a lot of cards from that set, which is like, yeah, I'll just get it graded. Um, but unless it's a, unless it's Charizard, I don't think anything from Champions Pass should really be graded moving forward. This one's interesting. I feel like I've sent cards that are really off center, and this is the one that gets an OC qualifier. Um, sure, I will take it. Happy to have something unique about it. I did was a fan of this Gardevoir art, and this is like a perfect example of why Champions Pass is not a good set. It's like. Gold's like, oh no, you got a gold card. What a waste. <laughs> it's a suspicious food tin. Oy, oy, oy. All right, we got some random XY stuff. Happy to pick up Gardevoir. Mega Gardevoir, rather. And a nice Misty's Determination. Shaman 10. A random first edition Jungle Pikachu. Happy with this, even at an 8. And I think these are actually some patron cards. Uh, so shout out to all the patrons. And uh, to those that uh, did get these graded for that $10 rate through Patreon. And uh, so, solid pickup on the 10. Shout out to Richard Omega. Unfortunately, just a 9 for Sylveon. A little disappointing there. Especially when, so you sent three Hidden Fates and the Syl the Evolution got the 9, the others got the 10. But the Articuno is nice. We got a Charmander. Uh, a little, oh, just, eh, I mean, not perfect center. That's probably what did the 9. The Mew V. And then some amazing rares. We did get a 10 on the Kyogre, or Rushing Ram, at least. And I think this one is Tyler's. Nine on the Umbreon. Definitely probably the centering that did it in. And lastly, Tim, you got a Gemmin 10 on your Kanazawa Pikachu. All right, so I think looking over to the side, I think I got three more stacks of grades graded card so we'll probably have one more video then move on to some cards again real soon which i'm really excited about so a little bit more content to come thanks for watching i'm wanna turtle i'll catch y'all next time peace